Hello, hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel again. This is a Kurt. I'm an urban landscape photographer based in Toronto, Canada. Today, we're going to talk about HDR photos. I'm going to show you how to shoot HDR in camera and how to add HDR photo in Lightroom and Photoshop, including camera raw. Without any further ado, let's get started. Hi, this is a Kurt Wong a landscape photographer based in Toronto, Canada. Welcome to my channel. Here, I will tell you my photography stories, share my knowledge and skills, and make photography friends. First, what is HDR? HDR means high dynamic range. These days, the new generation of camera have a very good sensor. Uh, it have good dynamic range in the sensor. Uh, some of the camera can do uh, 14 stop, 15 stop dynamic range, which is amazing. However, there are still many situations, very tricky light condition. The contrast between highlight and shadow are way off. It's really hard to shoot one exposure to balance the highlight and the shadow. That's how HDR method can help. So HDR actually is uh, exposure bracketing, what we call exposure blending. So basically you shoot multiple photos and using different exposure level. So you can capture uh, the best exposure for the highlight and uh, for the shadow and midtone too. And then blend them into one photo. So we have a very balanced uh, exposure for all those highlight shadow, different dynamic range. First, let me show you how to shoot HDR photo in camera. The first thing I recommend is make sure you use a tripod because we're gonna do a multiple exposure for the same composition. So it's very important you use a tripod to make things stay the same. However, in some of the light condition, maybe pretty bright, uh, you're able to shoot handheld with very fast shutter speed, that would do the job too. Uh, but overall, I want to recommend you use a tripod, especially for beginner. Now, it's to set up HDR. In most of the camera, especially the new generation DSLR and the mirrorless camera, they all have this automatic exposure bracketing, also called AEB. So basically, you choose how many shots you want to shoot, and then choose the interval, the exposure gap between them. And then that's it. So shooting HDR, usually it's a three shot, but you can also do two shot, five shot, or even seven or nine shot. It really depends on the situation. I, I wouldn't recommend you do two shot because two shot are basically doing one shot for the highlight, the other shot for the shadow. Uh, ideally, I would have the one in the middle, which is a sort of neutral to have some uh, information uh, in the middle of the histogram to cover the midtone. Then some people maybe say, uh, the more shot, the better. It's, it's, it's not 100% correct because you shoot more, you cover more uh, dynamic range. However, it really depends on the situation. In some of the, the condition, there is a moving factor in your frame. It could be a moving cloud, moving water, bird, people. If there's lots of moving factor, it's, it's not good to shoot too many shots because they have a moving factor inside. When you process the HDR photo in the post-processing, it will trigger lots of ghost. We're gonna talk about editing later. So as a beginner, I would suggest you start with a three shot or five shot. First, choose how many shots you want to have for your exposure bracketing. I'm going to choose three shot as an example. And then go to your exposure composition bar or your AEB setting. And then you dial. And the camera will show you three lines rather than three shot. And the interval in between them, the exposure gap. Same thing. If you choose a five shot, and the exposure composition bar will have five lines. 
The next step is to figure out the exposure gap in between a multiple shot. Let me use a waterfall shooting as an example. Strong highlight on the left, dark shadow on the right side. I will first measure the exposure for the highlight for the sky. If I export for the sky, it will be about negative one based on the exposure composition. If I expose for the dark shadow on the right side, gonna be positive one. So since the gap is from negative one to positive one, so I decide to use three shot. Uh, one for negative one, one in the neutral, one for positive one. Focus and click the shutter button and the camera will shoot three photo automatically by itself. There you go. This is how to shoot HDR in camera. Now let's go back to uh, the computer to edit HDR photo in Lightroom, Photoshop, and Camera Raw. Now we're in Lightroom. These are the three photos I took at the waterfall from underexposed to overexposed. When I click on the underexposed photo on the right side, as you can see in my histogram, the data mostly on the left side, it's not even. Same thing if I click on the overexposed photo, most of the information is on the right side. If I click on the neutral expose, look like uh, there's not enough information for the midtone either. Now let's process the HDR photo in Lightroom. Multi-select three photo together, right click, go to photo merge, click on HDR. Within like a few seconds, Lightroom process three photos together, blend them into a well-balanced photo. As you can see, the highlights no longer that strong and the, uh, the shadow has been left up properly. Make sure you have the auto-align, auto-setting chart. Auto-align means uh, it'll align your three photos uh, perfectly. So just in case, if your camera move a little bit, it could be uh, from the wind or when you press the shutter button, the camera move a little bit. So this is make sure all the multiple photos, they are aligned perfectly. Auto setting, make sure you check that on. So uh, Lightroom will do its job automatically. There's a degrowth amount level from none to high. Ghost means the moving factor in your multiple photo. It could be a moving cloud or flying bird or people. Uh, you can try all different degrowth level to see how uh, Lightroom will remove the ghost. So in this one, actually, even I choose a high, let me show you, and then show that it goes overlay, there's nothing, nothing sh showing up. So in this photo, it doesn't matter, I choose non to high, they're the same result. Don't worry about the create stack, it's more to stack them together, it's showing a multiple view in Lightroom. So that one doesn't matter you check on or not. Uh, and then once it's done, just click on Merge. And then the top, as you can see, Lightroom is creating HDR photo for you. After we process photo, I'm gonna show you another set of uh, HDR photo to show you an uh, example with the ghost. So you can have a better understanding about the ghost. All right, as you can see, the HDR photo has been created on the right side and the file name has been changed with HDR. As you can see, the histogram look much better. There's no much information attached to the two sides and in the middle, there are more information. There you go. It looks so good. The highlights no longer that strong and the shadow has been left up and the histogram looks so good too. This is how you process HDR photo in Lightroom. I'm gonna be using another set of photo to show you how the goals work in the HDR processing. Same thing, select three photo together, right click, photo merge, HDR. And then Lightroom did the job by itself. 
uh, here the gross amount is none. It looks okay, but if you look carefully in the cloud, there is some funny edge. So uh, that's because their goal is the moving factor of this area. Because we choose none, means no deghost. So Lightroom didn't try to remove the moving factor. If you click on high, so that means you're gonna maximize the deghost amount. Those red areas showing uh, where Lightroom deghost the moving factor. Let me remove this. The cloud look much better now. However, look at the the edge, this area. It doesn't look perfectly. So now I'm gonna choose a different level of the decals to see which one work the best. So since now and high doesn't work, I'm gonna try low or medium. I click on low. This look way much better. The cloud looks more naturally, and the funny gap here disappear too. So in this case, uh, I choose low degrees amount work the best and then click on merge. This is how you use the degrees amount to help you get the best result from Lightroom HDR processes. I'm going to show you how we process HDR photo in Camera Raw. Camera Raw is the editing software inside Photoshop. A process a raw file to do basic adjustment before you load into Photoshop for another further editing. Camera is actually very similar to Lightroom. In order to uh, load the photo in, first you go to your folder, select the three HDR photo and drag them to the Photoshop icon. See here, camera raw, open up three photo together. So here, the same thing. You select them multiply, right click, and merge to HDR. Click on merge to HDR. Just, just like Lightroom, it process the photo by itself very quickly. And the setting is almost the same as uh, Lightroom. It has auto uh, align image, apply auto setting. The degrees here, the same thing. You, you choose either off, mean the none, or low, or medium, or high. Exact same concept. If you want to see the overlay to show where the ghost is, you can click on that too. And then click on merge. It will ask you where you want to save the HDR. I'm going to select the same folder, click on save. There you go. The HDR photo is created in camera raw so quick. It's almost the same process as Lightroom. I'm going to show you how to do HDR inside Photoshop. Here we're talking about Photoshop directly without using camera raw. There's a two way to open up your file at the beginning. Uh, either you can uh, if you have the photo already loaded in Lightroom, you can select them, right click, and click on add it in, choose this one, merge to HDR Pro in Photoshop. It'll send you to Photoshop automatically. Or if you want to do that without using Lightroom, you can just click on file, automate, merge to HDR Pro. Once you click on it, it'll ask you to choose the file, the photos that you want to merge browse and choose the three photo click on open leave everything as is so at the bottom as you can see it'll help you to align the image automatically click ok Photoshop merge the three shots together and produce HDR for automatically and send us to the merge to HDR pro page this page will look different than Lightroom, it has more options. Though it looks more complicated, but it gives you more choices for yourself to decide how you want to produce the HDR photo. At the top, as you can see, you got the option to choose remove goals or not. You can check it on and off to try to see which one works better for you. If I check it on, look like uh, the sun, the light look too strong. If I click 
again it looks like more smooth and soft so i'm gonna choose not to use this and the mode you can choose 8-bit or 32-bit depends on how much uh, information you want to have and uh, the merge mode there are four different options uh, we have the uh, the one uh, more working on the local area which is called a local adaptation uh, which is mostly used the other three is more focused on histogram or exposure and gamma which is more focused on the, the brightness or the highlight uh, compression usually i use the first one uh, here there's edge glow right this image have a lot of edge glow around the sun so you can play around it if you choose the radius too much uh, as you can see the edge glow is too strong i don't want it so i want to move all the way to the left so make the highlight not too much same thing the strength right you can adjust it to choose the glow and you can also choose the edge smoothness in this case i have something very bright i'm gonna click on that you see it softens the light a little bit and here the next option is the tone and the details the first one is the gamma gamma is more for you to choose the, the contrast you can choose on the left side it gives you a stronger contrast or go to right side it is more like a very uh, mute and uh, very average so in this case i don't want to change anything i'm just going to use the one exposure same thing you want this to be more exp more bright or darker right so same thing i'm going to leave around zero Details, it's up to you. You can choose a higher details while dragging the bar to the right side. But in this case, I want it to be pretty much close to 100%. There's more option uh, at the bottom. It's just similar to your uh, basic adjustment in Lightroom. It asks you about shadow, highlight, uh, vibrance, and saturation, right? You can uh, adjust them, basically, uh, you can do a little bit toning on that or you can choose not to touch them and do the editing in camera raw afterward it also give you option to do the curve too right you can adjust the tone curve uh, to manipulate the exposure and once it's done you just uh, click ok and then your final result will show up. So there you go. After the merge, it creates an HDR photo for you. That's it. That's how you use Photoshop to produce HDR. All right, my friend. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this HDR tutorial can help you to improve your photography. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.